Hello, hello, and welcome back. We are once again in BeamNG Drive, and today I wanted to kind of show how I go about making liveries like this. The, I'll call it the easy way. So, if you're familiar with 3D modeling, UV unwraps, all that kind of stuff, you'll know the majority of this. For those of you that aren't, like I was not, and I still don't know a ton about it, UV unwraps basically is how they get a 2D image onto a 3D object. It maps out, you know, where things actually go onto the parts. And if you want to do automation vehicles with custom liveries or do all sorts of crazy stuff, you're going to need to learn a lot about that. But for today, you don't because we're going to go the easy way and be able to do things like this. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a new mod. So I am in my 0 0.34 uh, folder. Obviously, if it's a new version out, go to your newest version, go to mods, go to unpacked, because we can just work right in the unpacked and we're going to create a new folder and we will call this whatever we want to do it. So this will be livery mod video double click that inside here we are going to need to add another folder called vehicles and then inside of that is where we're going to get to work now you're gonna to have to do this for each vehicle and I'm going to show you most people know how to get to that 0 0.34 located in your app data and your local the other place that BMG stores stuff is in Steam apps assuming you got it from Steam common BMG drive and in that folder, you'll see we have content. Double click content, we have vehicles. That's why we added the vehicles in there earlier. And here's a list of all the vehicles that are in BeamNG by default. So we are going to just go, well, let's start with the burn side. So vehicles, burn side. So we need to do the same thing. We have the vehicles, we need a new folder here. And we'll call it the same thing, Burnside. That is literally how mods work in this game. It looks for that vehicles folder and says, great, we already have one of those, we'll add to it. It looks for the Burnside folder, it says, great, we already have one of those, we'll add to it. So we're gonna add to that Burnside folder. Now we're gonna need a few items in here, but the important thing that makes this relatively easy is if we look in this Burnside folder and we scroll all the way down they have a file in here called burnside skin uvs.png and not every vehicle well i think most vehicles have it but not every version of every vehicle has it for example there's one for the pickup truck but not for the ambulance version of the pickup truck all right so we have this opened up now in our photoshop if you don't have Photoshop, you can use PhotoP. I'll have a link down below. It's an online free alternative to Photoshop. Does all the same things. But we have it in here as its own layer. And the nice thing is we can add another layer. We'll drag our layer below it. And you'll see why in a moment. Go back up to this layer and we're gonna bring the opacity down just a bit. And then go back to our new layer. So why we did that is we have the whole un UV unwrap of this vehicle. We can see the hood, the roof, the doors. We can see where everything needs to be on this car to make it make sense. And now we have a layer below that we can draw on. We can do whatever we want and you know have some fun stuff there. Right high on the hood. Do whatever on this side. If you want things to be symmetrical, you can just copy this and mirror it. And we have, basically, we have an idea of what it will look like. And whenever we turn that off, we have the actual file of what we need, what the game needs to be able to put that onto a vehicle. 
All right, so we are going to come in here and we are going to export this on Photo P. It might just be, I think it's still export, but it may be a save as, but we're looking to ex get it to a PNG. And we're gonna go to 0 0.34, mods, unpacked, our new mod, vehicles, Burnside. And we're going to name this stupid lines PNG. Great. That part is probably going to take you the longest because you're going to want to try to get this all looking nice and do whatever, or you might just be copying and pasting things in there. I don't know what you're doing, but whatever you do, that's how you get the graphic side. And now we get into the part that gets a lot of people concerned and that is dealing with codes. All right, so now I'm using Visual Studio Code. You can also just use Notepad++. Visual Studio Code has a nice plugin to work well with BeamNG data. So if you're gonna be doing this often, I do recommend looking into that. But how do we create this? Well, like any good programmer, and I am far from a good programmer, we don't. We copy and replace something that already exists. So in that Burnside folder in content where we got the UV unwrap, there's also going to be a materials folder. Back in there we go. Uh, it's main dot, or materials file. Main dot materials, we don't need that. Skin dot materials, that's what we need. So we open that up. We can do a file save as, once again, put it into our mod. And we will just call this replace skin with something different because you don't want to overwrite what's in the actual game files. So we will just call this tutorial.materials. And now you see we have a bunch of stuff in here. But we have Burnside Skin Police, great, and then go Skin Taxi. Well, we only need one because we're only doing one. So we can come down and delete everything except for that final bracket there, the uh, curly bracket. And we can get rid of this comma here as well because this is the end of this. So we need to take this and modify it. We're not doing police, so we're gonna do, we called this one tutorial, so under tutorial. And we will change it here as well. And we will change it here as well. Now, there's a few different things that you may end up wanting to look at. What we are working on today is base color map because we were literally just doing something that is going to be color that's put on top of the vehicle. There are a couple other things. So base color map is literally, like I said, the color of the vehicle. There's also color palette map. This is how you get the colors that can be adjusted by paints one, two, and three in game. So if we come back in here and go to say, double stripe colorable and we can change these colors make them my colors that is done using color palette map you basically instead of doing drawing like this with whatever you want or copying and pasting images you would only use red green and blue and red green and blue would end up being paints one two and three so if you want something that's colorable, you can do that. If people want to see more in that, maybe I can do another tutorial going into that. But that's the other main item. And then if you want to go with like how Ash Maker does their wonderful glow skins, you can do emissive maps and turn emissive instance on. That's more outside of what we're going to be doing today. So... What we are going to do today is we are going to take base color map from stage one. So this is stage one here. 
Then we're going to copy it. And we're going to come down to stage two. And in here, we'll just paste it in there. So now stage two has a base color map. You see down here it says active layers two. That's because there's one, two. If you change that to a one, it would ignore everything down here. So we now have this in here. The other thing I like to do is get rid of this persistent ID because that is no longer accurate to, that's the persistent ID from the other skin, not uh, what we have. I don't know, it probably won't break anything if you leave it in there, but just as good coding etiquette, I like to remove persistent items that are not applicable. So this right here, base color map vehicles, Burnside, Burnside, main, B color, PNG. Well, that is not what our file is going to be called. Our file was stupidlines.png. So take that, come back into this base color down in stage two, and we are going to replace it with stupidlines.png. Great. That is all we needed to do in this materials file is change the names up here, which you got to remember what you use for this add in the base color and change what that is pointing to okay so there is one more file that we need to add to this and I'm coming back to content and vehicles burnside we're gonna look at dynamic decals here and this main dot jbeam and open this up we need to create a jbeam file so I will first do a save as and put this into my mod And I'm going to name this tutorial underscore mod underscore skin dot jbeam. And we're going to come in here and we are going to change this dy dynamic textures here to tutorial because that's what I called it. And this name here we will say tutorial this is how it will show up in the game author we'll give ourselves credit which 13 gaming sure is auxiliary that can be deleted from this value this is how much the game says that it uh, that paint job is worth may be important if you're using this in career mode or if you're doing something with cost and some Thing that you set up I you know for most people it won't matter but slot type is paint design it's what we want and then global skin this is important the name here must match what you used after the skin dot whatever that so in this case tutorial so we will go in and say tutorial and we will save this we'll come back to here and make sure that's saved and that's it all right so let's see how good we did first thing we're gonna do is control L we created a new folder beamng you need to refresh the Lua if you add a new folder for it to actually see it or sometimes you even need to restart the game we're gonna try just refreshing the Lua see if it pops up with that but control L will do that go mod our livery mod video is installed wonderful so if we come into vehicles and we go to Burnside Special and spawn one in, we're going to see if this works. I haven't tested this out yet. I mean, I've done the process in the past, but see if I've made any mistakes. Paint design tutorial is in there. And we click on it, and there we go. Oh, see, we did this over top of the police one. That's something I didn't think about. The police item is still in there so that is if we come back to here that's the color palette map that I was talking about so we will go burnside underscore main underscore color or underscore p dot color dot dbs did I I don't think I did that right let's uh 
<laughs> okay, I did do that, All right? Burnside underscore main underscore p dot color dot dds. Okay. So now, if we save that, refresh our vehicle. Now we got rid of the police skin, and now our color behind it is still adjustable. So there you go. That is the simple way of doing it. Obviously, the more the more you want to do with it, the more complicated it becomes. Something to keep in mind, if we go back to the Piccolina and throw my logo skin back on there, you'll see if you do an image that has white and stuff like that, but you have colors, the color's all weird. Why is that? Well, because that color palette map, I just need to take that paint one, make it white, and now my colors are on here. But you can actually tint it because the color palette map is still, that color, that paint is below your image. So something to keep in mind, if you have graphics with specific colors, you may need to make paint one white to be able to get the true colors on your vehicle. And of course, you can always save a config. And if you want, you can take that saved config and drop it into your mod folder. And now that config would be in the mod. And the final thing to do if you're just going to use this on your computer, you can leave it there. If you're going to want to upload it to your server or give it to a friend to upload to their server, then if we come back into mods, go to click on our mod, you can hit pack. That just zips up the folder and makes it ready to be put onto a server. And just as a recap, we have our mod. I was still unpacked because I didn't pack it. Mod name, vehicles, the vehicle name, and there's just three files. The J-Beam, the JSON, and then our image. And that's as simple as it is. So anyway, hope you found that useful. Hope you enjoyed. Go to my Discord, show me pictures of what you create, and I hope you have a good one. Peace.